as we enter Holy Week, the church invites us to the Gospels beginning from today to also enter into the moment of the Passion of the Lord. The Gospel text from today, from the Gospel of John chapter 12 verses 1 to 11, narrates the anointing of Jesus by Mary, who is the sister of Lazarus. The anointing of Jesus is narrated by all the four Gospels. Luke narrates it in chapter 7, verses 36 to 50, that is, within the ministry of Jesus, when an unnamed woman who is identified by Simon as a sinner, anoints the feet of Jesus. Mark and Matthew narrate the anointing of Jesus towards the end of their Gospels and the head of Jesus is anointed in preparation, they say, for his burial. The anointing of Jesus in the Gospel of John is in chapter 12 before Jesus can eat the meal with his disciples and before Jesus can wash the feet of his own disciples and the anointing by Mary, who is named only in the Gospel of John, the sister of Lazarus, is on the feet. Mary realizes that Jesus is Lord. Mary realizes that Jesus has been misunderstood. Mary realizes that there is something about Jesus that is holy and that is sacred. And so even when they are sitting at table with his legs behind him, Mary would have come from behind Jesus and begin to anoint his feet. And those who sat around were quite surprised first that Jesus allowed a woman to touch him, and second, that the ointment which Mary used was very expensive as the aroma filled the entire room. Judas Iscariot, who later, we will be told, betrays him, is the one who objects because he thinks that the ointment is too expensive. And Jesus responds with a phrase which we need to understand in its context when he tells Jesus, do us not to disturb the woman, when he says, the poor you will have with you always, but you will not always have me. The focus is not always have me. In other words, it is a prediction already here about his own going to the cross. Jesus knows that his time is limited. Mary is able possibly to intuit because her brother Lazarus has been raised in chapter 11 and created a lot of controversy. So Mary is possibly aware that because of this controversy, people are plotting against Jesus and that is the reason for her anointing the feet with the ointment. Jesus, however, is aware of this and asks his disciples to look beyond, not to get caught up with simply the now, but to also be able to look beyond and to see in the gesture of Mary, her generosity, her love. How do I show my love for the Lord? Will I do it by showing it tangibly to at least three persons today?